Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a tap counter. Now tap counters are mainly used in applications for reaction games just to see how many times you can tap within a certain amount of time or in the real world they are used as if you're a museum attendant and you're just counting the people that are coming through the door it just makes your job a little bit easier. Now the tap counter I'm going to show you today is going to have three buttons one that's going to add up the counts a second one that's going to take away the counts and a third one that's going to completely delete the um, counter and pull it back to default so it's pretty, it sounds a bit complicated but it's pretty simple and very easy to do so if you go straight to Xcode file new project and make sure it's a view based application for the iPhone and I'll name this tap counter save that just wait for it to load up okay then I'll make this bigger so we can all see go straight around to our classes into the view.h and under the UI kit here you want to tap enter a couple of times and then press int or type int sorry name counter and that with a semicolon I'll just zoom in so you can see it a bit better and then straight away here we're going to add our first IB action button so then we type in IB, I mean IB outlet sorry, IB outlet space UI label space star and I'll name this count and that with a semicolon then we're going to want to add in our three IB action buttons so simply do IB action bracket, I'll just copy and paste this so it's a bit quicker so our first one IB action and this will be the plus button semicolon, enter and then our second button will be the minus semicolon, enter and our third one will be to zero the counter so zero, and semicolon and that should be that's all that done there for the um, dot H so we can save that and go straight into our view controller.m and press enter a couple of times and then we can simply start with our first IB action button, the plus one. So we type in plus space curly bracket enter and then counter equal sign counter space plus one as it's gonna every time we tap it it's gonna add one to the counter so if you want to tap it and you want it you want it to add ten you simply just type in ten like that or you could do seven one one hundred and seventy seven it's totally up to you but I'm gonna stick with one for now then semicolon on that and enter then we type in count dot text space equals space bracket capital N S string space string capital W with format and in this highlighted section here we want to do the at symbol quotation mark percentage sign then the letter I then another quotation mark and then comma and counter bracket semicolon enter and end it with a curly bracket and that's all you need for the first IB action button and the second one to um, minus it to take away one every time is pretty similar to this one here so we can just simply copy and paste this to make it a lot easier but the only thing we're going to change is obviously the action button so this would be the minus and instead of adding one you want it to take away one so we simply do the take away sign minus And then the third action button, which is to zero the um, the, uh, the counter, sorry. We can simply again paste it and we just simply change this one to zero. And then we want to get rid of the count equals and the counter all the way up to the number. Or equals their number. And then so when we press this button, it will then just set the uh, 
the counter to the number we set here. So which we're going to want it to set it to zero. And then we can save that. And that's all the action buttons done there. So take a quick glance here, pause the video just so you can catch up. And then once you've done that, you're going to want to scroll down all the way to where it says implement view did load to additional setup after loading screen. You want to just take away the comment signs there. And here we just enter space twice. And you're going to want to type counter equal sign zero bracket. That just means when the application loads up, the counter is already set to zero. Then enter. Ooh. Semicolon. Then enter. Count dot text space equal sign space the at symbol quotation mark zero quotation mark semicolon. So and then once you've done that, you can simply save it and go straight into our resources and to the view controller dot nib where we can add our free action buttons and our label and which is very simple so just wait for this to load up now okay here we go just simply get free action buttons here This one can be the plus, this one can be the minus, and this one can be the zero. Well, I'll just type in the word zero. And then our label, we simply put there. And we want to go straight into our files owner and drag the IB outlet, the count here, straight to the label. And then we want to drag the plus, obviously to the plus, and we make sure it's touch up inside. The minus to the minus, and again touch up inside. And finally the zero to the zero, and touch up inside. And then that's all that needs to be done there, so we can simply save that, quit it, and go straight away and build and run. I think I've got it all right, so there should be no problems whatsoever. And there we go, perfect as usual. So just simply wait for this to load up now. Okay, here we go. So the counter is already set to zero as we set it into the um, view did load. And then as you start tapping the plus, you add one. And you can also change this to 10, so we go up in tens, just simply play around with the code or if you want to take away it just simply takes away one or if you've gone up too far and you want to start all over again you just simply press zero and the counter automatically sets itself back to zero as we told it to so that's a simple tap counter so I hope that helps you in any of your applications or any of your projects but for now make sure you comment rate subscribe just leave a comment if you think I can improve my tutorials or if you just want to suggest a new one well, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next tutorial.